Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see the thumbnail, the person on the right, the kid, the young man on the right is um, Derek Ro um, Rhodes, not the basketball player, and Michael Ross, who was a police officer. And he has been not, he's found not guilty. And Antoine Rose, sorry, in the murder of Antoine Rose. I'm going to read this coming from KDKA, CBS Pittsburgh. Mike, former East Police Officer, Pittsburgh Police Officer Michael Rossfeld found not guilty in Antoine Rose shooting. Please share this video. This came out two days ago. Pittsburgh, a jury has found former East Police, Pittsburgh Police Officer Michael Rossfeld, who is charged in the June 2018 shooting death of 17 year old. Antoine Rose Jr., the second, not guilty. This was just last year. Everybody wanted to be pissed off about R. Kelly, R. Kelly. R. Kelly didn't kill nobody. He may have traumatized, allegedly, some women by sexually assaulting them. Allegedly. But he didn't kill anybody. The jury reached their verdict after deliberating for about three and a half hours Friday. There was high emotion in the courtroom as the verdict was read. The judge ruled that Roswell has taken off electric monitoring which he had been since July 2018. Roswell, his wife, his parents, and the rest of the family were taken out of the courtroom under guard after verdict was read. See, to protect them, of course. The Rose family was all then taken out of the courtroom under guard. Their frustration and disappointment was evident. They had no immediate reaction to the verdict. Allegheny County District Attorney Stephen Zabala issued the following statement regarding the verdict. I have always believed that the criminal justice system belongs to the people. And the best example of that is when 12 men and women sit in a court, sit in a room and deliberate how best to pass judgment unto one of their peers. Indeed, that is the foundation on which the entire criminal justice system is built. While I respectfully disagree with their verdict, it is the people of this commonwealth who decide guilty or not guilty and they have spoken to this matter. Wow. You hear that shit? In the interest of justice, we must continue to do our job of bringing charges in situations where charges are appropriate, regardless of the role an individual holds in the community. Mayor Bill Peduto, who should be retired or voted out, See in the following statement tonight. I agree with Antoine's family, bullshit, friends, and his entire community. Words cannot heal the pain so many are feeling. Only action can be nine to process a process that will take work and understand. <sighs> a process that will take work and understanding. That's bullshit. And understanding that inequality exists and we have a normal moral, moral obligation. Pay attention. We have a moral obligation. He don't say we have to take action or anything like that to address it. I offer the full support of the city of Pittsburgh to help us find light and darkness. Wow. Bunch of bullshit. Let me see if I can play this video for you guys. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to play this video. Why won't? Okay. The attorney for the family of Antoine Rose says they are devastated. Ralph Iannotti spoke with the attorney just after Rossfeld was acquitted. After a three and a half day trial for the family and friends of 17 year old Antoine Rose II, the frustration and disappointment was evident after the verdicts were read in the courtroom. They didn't want to talk to the media about their reactions, but civil rights attorney Lee Merritt who has been very vocal during the triad, did talk to reporters on the family's behalf. Antoine Rose was shot in his back, uh, which killed him. Um, he was unarmed. He did not pose a threat to the officer or to the community. Uh, and the verdict today says that that is okay, uh, that that is acceptable behavior from a police officer. And on behalf of the, the Rose family, on behalf of the African-American community and lovers of justice, we say it's not okay. After the prosecution had rested its case earlier on Friday, Merritt had predicted that there was enough evidence for the jury of nine whites and three African Americans to return with a guilty verdict. 
on Grant Street. I'm Ralph Ian. Well, you heard the court make up. It was nine whites and three blacks. And they all came back and found them not guilty. The poor family is suffering right now. They just lost their son, Antoine Rose. This bastard that you see in a thumbnail, he killed the kid. And he got away with it. And all he was doing was running away from him. My condolences go out to the Rose family. If you guys have a link to it, go fund me. Please share it with me in the um, in the comment section. Rest in peace, Rantz on Rose.